Hey, welcome to this. You know, I moved. This is a new recording setup that I just, well, set up. And I will be recording here from now on. But you did not click to see the new setup. You clicked on this video to see me get a web server up and running on a Chromebook. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, here we go. We're on the Chromebook. So, first thing we need to do is shut this down. And then, um, if it actually shuts down... Turn it back on and hold escape, refresh, and power to get into the recovery mode thing. There we go. Now, control D, enter to go into recovery. Uh, control D again. Zoom right in there. There we go. Your system is transitioning to developer mode. So, yeah, let's just wait for a bit. Alright, there we go, we're done. We also have development features enabled. So now, we need to change this layout to... Alright, keyboard, change the keyboard to United States, that'll do. And connect to the internet. This is actually really slow. A lot of my computers are slow. But it's fine, we're on the internet. And this is fine. Control alt. Alright, local host. We're just gonna go root, root. Alright, here we go. Chronos, Chronos. There we go, we are now in Chronos. So now we need to go curl dash L O K Mr. Chromebox dot tech slash firmware util.sh there we go and sudo I, I think i might need to chmod plus x firm and then sudo firmware util uh chronos permission denied all right here we go just had to run another command i just had to run just had to run it from bash sudo bash firmware util.sh uh warning if device currently has software write protect enabled uh yup disable the software write protect all right this is it this is the firmware utility so we want to do to enter uh yup we have already read this in a previous video yup uh yup Create a backup copy of your stock firmware. Uh, no, I do not want to make a backup because I already have one. All right, here we go. It's done. The full ROM firmware has successfully been flashed. So now let's reboot. We are now rebooting. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. It worked. Debian. I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh uh, yeah, you okay. I don't care. I am not happy. I'm doing stuff. Pewers. 
<gasps> okay, this is the furthest we've gotten so far. Installing the base system. Okay, everything is looking great. We are currently installing Firefox. Oh, not anymore. I have chosen to install um, XFC as the desktop. And I just chose to install a pet tree just during the installation because I do not want to waste even more time. <sighs> See when this is installed. Oh my gosh, finally. We got an operating system that installed on this system. So, uh, continue. There's no mouse, the mouse doesn't work, unfortunately. But here we go, we're unmounting file systems. Oh, requesting system reboot. I have another computer over there that we can use to test out the web server and stuff. However, I do need some more files that are on this USB stick right here. So I'm just gonna mm. plug in this USB stick and get the camera all set up. All right, here we go, we've got the camera set up. Let's just log in here. All right, here we go, we're finally on the XFC desktop. I'm done. I'm actually so done. Anyway, RPI web server files. Oh yeah, I need to modify this because I was originally trying, gonna do this on a Pi, but I need to modify some of these files. Be right back. Oh, I'm back with new files. Stick it in here. I still named it RPI, but look. So we're gonna copy that. And I think it is in var www.html. Paste it in. Replace all. There we go. Now we have another computer over here that we can use to um All right, there we go. We got an IP 192.168.0.184. So now, let's turn over here and go to 192.168.0.184. Welcome, this page is running off of a Chromebook. We did it. We got a web server up and running on a Chromebook. That took nearly two hours. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like if you have... Wait a minute. Oh, so yeah, this is it for the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, then subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next upload. Bye.